Hello, this is Andy with Automated Marketer. In this video, we're gonna go over how to use animation inside the Funnel Builder in Go High Level. Let's get started. All right, so animation is a really cool feature that we can use in order to add drama and effect into our landing pages. Now we use animation for some very specific purposes. The first purpose is it just looks cool. The second purpose is though, we wanna accentuate certain things on our page to either make a person notice them or maybe click on them like a button in order to make them kind of stand out. That's why we use animation. So we can only animate certain things inside of Go High Level at this moment. Those things are, different types of text, whether they be a headline or just text. It can be an image. And lastly, it can be a button. So those three things, buttons, images, and text can be animated inside of Go High Level. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you all the different kind of animations that you can do. This is actually a new thing inside of Go High Level. We used to only be able to like rock back and forth or maybe make things bounce. Now we have a whole suite of different animations. So the first one we're gonna go over is our text animations. Our text animations are generally entrance animations. When the page loads, we have in, up, down, left, and right fading in. We can also have things slide in. We can also make different elements bounce up and down. We can make them flip, rotate, zoom in, something come in at light speed, or we can have an infinite loop so that they're always present. I'm gonna show you how to use each and every one of these. So the first one is the fade. Now this is really something I think is really cool. So if this is our main headline, we wanna make that fade in. And maybe we want that to drop down as our website is just starting to load. So I'm gonna click on down right here. And did you see that animation when I clicked on it? It gives me an example of the way it's gonna work. So I just made it go up. I can make it come in from the left. I can make it come in from the right. So if I used all of these, I can have this one come in from the left. I can have this one come in from the right. Right was already chosen, so I can't see it. So I'll click on it like that again. So that's right. And then this one, I'm gonna have it drop down. Now when I save it and I preview the page, you're gonna see a really cool effect, which is gonna grab your attention. See how that worked? It was a nice little cool animation that kind of brought your attention right to the thing that I wanted you to talk about. All right, now the next part of it is our images. Those images also work off the same animations. I already showed you how to use the fade. Now I'm gonna show you how to have something slide in or slide up from the left or from the right. And that's how we use the images. I'm gonna have that continue to go work off the right hand side. But there's a couple other ones that I think are really, really cool here that I really wanna show off. There's the bounce in, up, down, left, and right. And then there's also the flip. That's a really cool new effect. There's a on the X axis and on the Y axis. I think I like the Y axis the best. And then I can also do rotate. So something just kind of flies in. Or lastly, I can use zoom. Hey, we want to interrupt this video for a quick little minute to just let you know that I hope you're enjoying this video. We want to thank you for being here. But more importantly, we are hoping that this content helps you do whatever you're trying to do inside a high level. We also want to let you know that you have options to get additional help. We offer a $197 a month VIP coaching program that includes four days of office hours, first come, first serve with Andy or myself, where we go in and we answer any of your questions that you might have live with the group setting for other people that are also working in high level. We also have a VIP group where we answer questions directly one-on-one -on -one with anybody posting in that group to give you the absolute best support. It also comes with a bunch of other features, including our funnel brick system, our little mini course, and more importantly, a couple guides that'll help you through this, and also including our SOP library that we use for pretty much everything inside of our agency. So thank you for this quick little minute, but more importantly, go back to the video, get whatever you need, and if you have any questions that we can answer inside the video, just drop a comment on the video and we'll make sure to answer whenever we get a chance. And now back to the show. You know what, I think for this purpose, I'm gonna use Flip because it's really dramatic. And on this one, on this text, I'm gonna do the animation and I'm gonna have it bounce up. Now we can get really freaky in here. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna go to animation. I also have in this animation, I forgot to mention a light speed where it's fast and it has a little bit of italic for a minute. I can also make it come in from the right. I use the left over here on this one. I'm gonna show you how to use the infinite loop, which in this case is a glow. And that's, as you can see, it kind of glows. You see how that works? It makes the box glow. Or 
I can have it rock back and forth. See how that's moving right there? Kind of pulls attention. I like these most on the buttons, by the way. Or bounce, so it just keeps bouncing. In this case, I'm gonna continue to use these slide-ins and so forth because it looks better with text. But with a button, sometimes with a button, I like to use something that is on infinite loop because with an infinite loop, we can accentuate things like our button so people know where to click to get, in this case, our free checklist. So I'm gonna make that glow. And as you can see, my button is now glowing. Now there's one other cool little thing that we have in here is our hover animation for our buttons. So I'm gonna clone this so that you can see it in action. I'll add a little bit of padding so I can separate it. All right, there we go. Now this is still glowing. I'm gonna get rid of that glowing. I'm just gonna eliminate it by hitting clear up here. And that way I get rid of all my animation. And I'm gonna use a hover animation. So I'm gonna close this one up and I'm gonna open this one. And what it does is it elevates or wobbles when I put my mouse over it. So if I click on this, nothing really happens. And if I do that one, it also doesn't happen. Now, if I put my mouse on it though, did you see that? It moved around, it wobbled. In this case, I'll make it elevate. That way there's some action when I'm moving. So now let's see what our page looks like after I save it. I'm gonna open up a preview. And do you see all that drama that happened on the page? It looks like it just completely built itself. It was a little much, I know, but it was to prove a point. And as I go down, the animation, did you see that animation come in? It's because it reacts as I'm scrolling on the page. And then as you can see, my button here is bouncing. And if I put my mouse over and hover here, I get that little lift so that people know that they're on the right thing. That's how animations work inside of Go High Level. If you like this video and you like what we're doing here, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.